Hey guys, it's Lynn here for Superimpose X and in the next five videos, I'm gonna show you how to use the editor section by breaking down each individual feature. Today we're exploring the last section where you can find some really cool effects to add the perfect finishing touches to your project. Remember that all changes made within the editor tab are permanent, so you won't be able to go back and change them later unless you undo them. First up is focus, which lets you add a blur to a part of the image to make it look like the picture was taken with a larger aperture. I'm gonna use this feature on this image right here to bring more attention to the gate and blur out the building behind it. As you can see, the blurred effect is applied to the area over the two lines, so I'm gonna move the lines down to just right above the gate. You can also move the upper line to increase or decrease the transition from sharp to blurry. Because this wall on the left is part of the foreground, it would look more realistic if it wasn't blurry. So I'm gonna add a mask to remove the effect from that part of the image. If your project has a mask, you can choose if you want to add the effect to the masked or the unmasked area by switching between foreground and background under the image tab. This particular project doesn't have a mask, so I will show you this feature a little later. Under shape, you can choose between different types of focus effects. The second one is blurry over and under the lines instead of just over. Then we have this round effect, which blurs the area outside the circle. And then the last one, which blurs the area inside the circle instead. Lens blur is similar to focus, but instead of a regular smooth blur, lens blur blurs the image into a certain shape to create a so-called bokeh effect. You can choose which shape you want, like a heart or a butterfly, for example. Under blur, you can control the blur amount. Light lets you adjust the intensity of the light in the effect. And the last tab is Shape, where you can change the shape of the effect. With Motion Blur, you can add an effect that makes it look like the motive in the photo is moving. This project does have a mask, so let's check out the foreground and background feature. When it's set to foreground, the effect is applied to the unmasked area. But if you switch over to background, the effect will be applied to the masked out area instead. This is useful when you want to blur the background of a project while leaving the subject untouched. Then we have zoom blur, which looks really cool for action photos. I'm gonna place the circle where I want the effect to start and make it a little bit bigger so that the effect is less intense over our subject. You can choose if you want a zoom effect or a spin effect and you can also adjust the amount of the blur. With light, you can add different types of lighting effects to your project. You can choose from leaks, flares, auroras, and bokehs. You can change the size, move the light around, as well as control the intensity of the light under a mount. Lastly, there's Glitch, which adds a cool glitch effect to your photo. You can choose from different types of glitches, control the amount of distortion, and adjust the colors. That's all for the effects section and the five videos on the editor tab. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimposed X and as always, if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye!